Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Creates here bringing to you a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks so much for giving my video a try. I hope you stick around and hit like like button, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so you'll always be notified when a new video comes up. Hey! So you guys know my OCs. We have Swan, she's my mascot, she's my avatar, she's, um, she's the character I use most. Then there's Moonlight. I drew her for 31 days for Inktober, two years in a row to get to know her better. But not much of you guys might know my very first OC. So my very first OC is Sharite. Now, Sharite is a warrior princess. Badass. Awesome. Yeah, and her story has been developing in my mind for years. But I stopped drawing her like I don't know, like last year or maybe two years ago because I felt she felt force in the beginning. And let me tell you about that. When I first started drawing four years ago, all of the artists that I loved, all the artists that I followed had their own OC. And I was like, what the heck is an OC? And then I found out that means original character. And me and my novice mind thought oh so i could only be a real artist if i have an oc so i didn't force shara to come into life it was just a drawing i did and then i said oh okay i just choose her to be my oc and then i forced myself to draw her because i felt that was what i was supposed to do and then when i realized that OC is not something you force. OC is something that comes naturally. Is when I felt okay, Shara didn't come naturally, so therefore she's not my OC. And then I dropped her like a hot potato. But then I realized that before I drew Shara, I don't know, it's a lot of talking. Before I drew Shara, I was really happy of her drawing, and it's because I felt forced to like create her. I don't know, but anyhow, but the thing is, I wasn't forcing myself to draw Shari. I was really, really interested in her. So, enough of you talking, let me show you. So, the first drawing I ever did of Shari, prepare yourself, this is really bad, <laughs> is this. This is my first drawing ever of Shari. So, this is when I was into Zentangle a lot. And I just finally figured out how to do the Zentangle gem. So you see it in her head and here. And I learned how to do this here. And I was like, so happy. This is a photocopy. Where did I draw this? This is a photocopy. This is the year when every drawing I did, I was afraid to color it. So I'll photocopy it and then color it in. <laughs> yeah, I was really, really scared of messing the original up. So that means it's in one of one sketchbook. I don't know which one. But yeah, this is the original, original drawing of Sharite. And I was really happy with this drawing so much that I chose her to be my OC because I felt that's what I needed. But well, the gem was really huge. Look how I used to draw eyes. <laughs> Look at that nose. Alright. So let's see. Then I went on and drew her like this so I upgraded her like design from this to this because you know purple is my favorite color wow look at how big that gem was it's so tiny now but this is me coming up with this is how I def decided that she was a princess and like she's a warrior princess and I was like oh fighting Pew, pow. yeah Oh, this is so Ugh. I even came up with this design to like that would be her princess design and I think it's because I was forcing myself so much like ah, let's stop so many force then there was where, where is the other design oh then I came up with a whole new design for her again and here she is so she went from this <laughs> to this and I was way more happy with this design her gem was smaller I love her hairstyle 
and I think this is when she really started to feel like mine oh my god I forgot about the dab on her leg anyhow this is when she really felt like mine and I really like her like armor and I was ex drawing with expressions experimented with expressions here oh this is in 2017 and this is one of my favorite drawings ever of her and you can see I have not colored these because again I was afraid of messing up the sketch <laughs> and she's this is where she's putting up her hair in one and uh, a sucker drawing whole bodies her whole body was supposed to be on the page but I draw big I draw real big I really like this she looks like eh? and now I decided to do a redraw of one of the drawings I did of her and the one I chose to do is this one so this one was in 2017 as well was it let's see 2016 this is a 2016 drawing wow 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 so I will talk about Sharite's history throughout the video but right now the story behind this is it's a whole conflict of Sharite and right now she's wearing a dress she does not feel comfortable in dress in any dress of any time when she has to be going to a formal attire it with her kingdom she feels suffocated she feels enclosed she doesn't feel free she doesn't she's not able to be herself so every time she put on these clothes she feels vulnerable because it doesn't feel like her get it get it all right cool so I have a lot of issues with this drawing these ears are whack I didn't I just drew this it looks too crude and the dress is simple I like the dress but it's simple really like the hair <laughs> I don't draw like this again so one thing I like that I captured in her expression was how sad or fallen she looks so at least maybe because I know that's what it's supposed to look like that I'm seeing that I don't know if you guys are seeing that too my patrons liked her hair I like her hair too but anyhow so now on to the redraw which I'm doing off because this is gonna be so nervous nerve-wracking because I'm not drawing her in my cutesy side I'm drawing her in my regular style which is the this type of style and I haven't drawn like that since I've just developed my cutesy style. So it's gonna be a little rusty. It's gonna be a rusty. So let's see what happens. Okay, lovely. So first off, I must admit, this is a sketch I am the most proud of in a long time. Seriously, I still can't get over how good the sketch is of this drawing. I'm so close to not wanting to paint it <laughs> uh, because the sketch is so good but that's falling into bad habits and I don't want to do that so on to the painting we go with gouache because you guys know I love gouache <laughs> I say that way too much so anyhow I'm using gouache for this painting and here is the backstory of Sharite. So originally, I wanted Sharite and her people to be born with their gems. But now I'm thinking, but it didn't fit to the story that I, that I had. So now I'm thinking that instead of being born with your gem, it's gonna be like a puberty. Therefore, it happens to both the men and the women or any gender they're therefore in the world and it's gonna be a period so therefore it's fear and everyone gets to experience it it's bloody it's painful it's awful and it's going to be a rite of passage and I realized ever since I started like doing story development and stuff and I understand that they must have some kind of like price or conflict for something you know, for something here yeah, like you know nothing comes free I always kind of go out with like streamer like never used to be before but in this 
it's really painful but it's something that is like a rite of passage in a young you know i need a name for her people but anyway a young flame people <laughs> the fire nation the fire nation <laughs> oh but anyhow so it's like a rite of passage like your sweet 16 or your quinceanera so it's something like that you're right if I and usually this comes around your 16th birthday but swan wow wow i'm so accustomed to saying swan <laughs> but Sharite is a late bloomer she got her air quotes period when she was 18 which is unusual that it usually stores uh, for a few months but not like three six seven, seven, eight, eight, three years or two years Anyhow, I'm reading. Anyhow, Sharite is the only daughter of the king and queen who I have not named yet. Wow, I'm bad. And everyone in this kingdom have red jewels. Okay, they live, their kingdom is in a desert and their family rules the desert kingdom and each kingdom has their own territory. So there's the... the Fire Kingdom, which is them. There's no, not fire. There's more like gems. There's the Ruby Kingdom. Then there's the Sapphire Kingdom, who lives like in a water territory, and then there's the Green and the Air Kingdom. So each kingdom has a truce, and they must keep to their area unless they're doing trade through the trade route that they agreed upon, right? So everybody just stays with their people. That's why Sharite is a problem. And nobody knows why she's a problem. Because it doesn't it doesn't make sense. How is this? Sharite grew up in a happy family. Her parents were super in love with each other. They did PDA all the time. Sharite was especially close to her father because she knew it was her job to be the new ruler when her father retired so she was straight from a young age and it wasn't really a problem for her because she liked picking up weapons and and you know fighting it used to be fun to spar with her dad and she used to like to learn all these new moves and she even spent time with her mom to learn all the princessy stuff but that wasn't really for her but she gave it a try to appease her mom because she loves her mom but she would more preferred being in the fields so it's like a merida minus the the marrying and having to be a princess part chara could have been a warrior princess okay <laughs> so all of this changed on her 18th birthday when her quote unquote period came and oh it's very bloody so first it would be like weeks like a week before you might feel fatigue you might feel like a burning sensation on a part of your body in various parts of your body it's like your body is trying to find a way for your gem to come out yeah, so maybe everybody is born with a gem, but it doesn't show itself unless until your puberty, your puberty, yeah, puberty comes. And Sharite was showing the symptoms. It was a wonderful time. The family was like, oh my gosh, it's fine, be rich. We were so scared that it wasn't going to come. And it was going to have a celebration because she's the princess and they wanted the whole kingdom to know that it's finally happened to the little girl and like oh and Sharite was terrified but so happy to finally get her gem because kids her age have their gem for like two years already and now she's getting his and when the blood started dripping from her forehead she was like okay so the gems coming up my forehead and she was not expecting all the pain that was going to come when the gem wanted to show itself and she was in her chamber she had her maid her mom was there 
okay it'd be weird even though she's not naked it'd be weird if her dad was there too so let's say her mom was there and it was like oh, oh and then her gem came and the pain was so much she passed out when she woke up from you know her pain induced coma a few hours later it was met with weird stares her mom just looked at her with her hand over her mouth like and Shara was like, oh, mom, did it come? And she's feeling the gem on her head. And she was like, oh, she was so excited. But the mom was just looking stricken. And the dad came in and he was like, what, what is this news I'm here? And he and all looked at Shara and was like, what is going on? And Shara was like, hey, what's up with you guys? And then when she looked in the mirror, she saw that her gem is purple. A gem is purple. Every single person in the entire kingdom have red gems, and hers was purple. Dun dun dun. So now the king, who is super in love with his wife, was like, "Did you cheat on me with someone from the amethyst kingdom?" And she was like, no, no, I love you. You're the only one I'm thinking. And now the king is like, then explain her gem. And she was like, what? But then it can't really say anything. But Shara, it looks exactly like her dad. She looks exactly like her dad. Exactly like her dad. Except in a feminine form. And still cute looking. So <laughs> her dad is just... Also, she's a giant. Something I always forget not like 10 feet tall giant she's like six feet five giant and she's still shorter than her dad maybe i should make she's six foot three yeah maybe she's more around six foot three and her dad is close to seven feet and her mom is like five something <laughs> so like she's real tall and when she looks at her dad she sees like her reflection and now all he could focus on is this gem that's purple because there's no way red and red makes purple no does it so it just had this somber thing over the kingdom and it was just fights between her parents because the king was you cheated on me and the mom me like hey i've been faithful to you don't be doing that and let's just say a war broke out among the kingdoms because the dad was like <sighs> who defiled my wife or oh, my wife deceived me with and he started a fight and then all the kingdoms get dragged into it and Shara is in the middle of it because she feels it's her fault so therefore she finds it's her duty to stop the war hence why her warrior princess thing is going on so now she has to go on a quest not only to save her kingdom and the all the kingdoms that I've constantly fighting, but she has to find the truth about why the heck is she born with a purple gem since she believes her mom that, you know, she didn't cheat, especially since she looks exactly like her dad. So, that's the story of Shara, right? <laughs> I thought about this so much, and now it finally fits after not drawing her for all this time because I was like I wanted to be super close to her dad but if she was born with the purple gem I don't think you'll get close to her because he will always be like my wife cheated on me but if the gem comes along after you know a period of time like a period or puberty that makes more sense that they will be have a good childhood and then something happened and they just he just shut down because men pride are very fragile it's very fragile very fragile <laughs> so that's the story of Sharad. story still ongoing because every time i think about Sharad, like i keep seeing her on horseback riding on a quest to find out because she is part of a prophecy duh it's like obvious she is part of a prophecy 
but it's a prophecy that has been long forgotten like seriously like you know when you have a moment when you have a period of peace you just get so comfortable in the peace that you forgot stuff right so the she was supposed to come like a hundred years ago like how 2012 was when everybody thought the world was going to end so they just and then it didn't happen so everybody kind of forgot like oh, okay then so the Mayan calendar wasn't didn't mean that so it's like that so a hundred years ago oh the person who was supposed to come then come then it was lie and then it didn't happen so nobody really kept track of that legend and now very few people know about it very few people know about it so few people that i don't know don't even know about it but there is a prophecy that includes sharite because i don't really think it has a, a kingdom that has purple gems so maybe red and blue make purple so mm -hmm. but her mom didn't cheat that's one thing i'm adamant the mom didn't cheat oh maybe Shara is something like the avatar minus the powers like this rare gem is born into each kingdom once every how much years oh see the more you talk about it the more ideas come what do you guys think should it be like an avatar kind of thing I don't know, you tell me, because Sharad's story is fun. I'm thinking about, like, a graphic novel area. But anyhow, I know in this painting, I'm painting her ruby red, but it's not really her ruby. Her parents are trying to hide the scandal. Well, her mom is trying the best to, like, ease the tension in the kingdom. So she, you know how those Indian headdress, oh, I love that. I've got a lot of Indian clothing reference for this outfit that I'm painting now and I found this Indian headdress and I was like oh this is so cute so she has to wear this anytime she's in public at all time so her purple gem is hidden behind it and she has a red fake gem inside it but her hair still tells the truth now doesn't it she hasn't dyed her hair it's because when she went through her pupil whole PBD thing the purple gem came out and then her hair got the purple in it I think everybody has red and black hair but their hair dyes that you could change any color that you want and she wanted and no matter how much they dye her hair the purple can be hidden so they say oh you know teenagers ha 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 their dyes so I think I talked enough so we can enjoy the rest of the video for like a while now and i'll talk to you guys at the end bye
Okay, lovely. So this is the final result of my Sharai painting. I didn't want to just to have her in open white space. So I drew her in a rose bush, but somehow it doesn't feel completed. I think I have to put like a dark wash on some of the leaves to like push them into the background. Maybe I'm looking at it now and I think I have to do that. Yeah, I think I have to do that. Put a dark wash on some of them. But I'm really happy with how it came out. And in comparison to the old design, wow, wow. So 2016, I did this. That's three years ago. Three years ago, I drew that. And look how it is now. That's a lot of improvement in three years. A lot of improvement in three years. And I'm really happy with how it come. It still has a vulnerable part of the painting because Moonlight, wow, Moonlight, I'm sorry, Sharite. Sharite <laughs> does not feel comfortable when she has to dress up like this. She has to hide who she is to keep peace. Eh, a story. We'll go on and on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek into my first ever op sneak peek. It's a full on story I told you guys. While I reintroduce, yeah that's what I'm saying. While I reintroduce you to my first ever OC, Sharite, the warrior princess. And I hope you enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun painting. I love the design on her dress. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But first, a thank you. Thank my patrons so much, especially Carla Finlow, YK, Princess Auntie Auntie, and introducing again Miss Rose Rowlands. Hey guys! And thank you guys again so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! My